So when La La Land was announced as Best Picture, uh, was it intentional when they screwed up? Or was it some sort of PR plan to get people to watch the Oscars? So, uh, look, first of all, preface this by saying uh, I am super jaded <laughs> when it comes to publicity in the film industry. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fake relationships out there. Like, look, if somebody's dating Kanye or Pete Davidson right now, don't believe they're actually dating, okay? A lot a lot of that, if not all of it, is just a big, a big setup to boost the careers of... Uh, the people involved. But I do think it was an actual honest mistake when La La Land was announced as Best Picture when the real winner was Moonlight. All right, let's talk this out. So let's say that they uh, screwed it up on purpose or it was some sort of you know planned thing to boost the ratings of the Oscars. Well, was it to boost the ratings uh, that night? Uh, because it happened at the end of the broadcast. It's not like it happened in the first 10 minutes so people could tune in and figure out what was going on. Um, it's also not like it happened, you know, 20 minutes before the end of it. So people would tune in and they would have a big, big finale. Um, so I don't think it was for ratings uh, the night that it happened. So then it must be for the next broadcast, which is a year later. Um, do you really think somebody's going to remember that a year later? Um, and even if they do... Do you think anybody involved in the La La Land team? I mean, this is a high-profile movie. It's nominated for Best Picture. Um, you've got Ryan Gosling. You've got Emma Stone. Um, it had already won a bunch of awards that night. Do you really think any of those people or their very high, high-powered, uh, you know, producers, their agents, all of these people? Do you really think any of them would go in for a scheme like that and and sort of lose face and you know have some sense of like? shame uh you know that that their movie was announced but it didn't actually win i mean that's you're losing like a lot of face so is that worth bumping um up the numbers next year and rolling the dice at 12 months from now people are going to remember that um i mean we're only a couple of years removed from it and everybody's already forgotten so i i don't think that's the case uh, I do think that a lot of people don't care about the Oscars anymore, but um, Hollywood is in fact not dead. Uh, you know, you know who doesn't need any press, whose name is out there, whose face is out there anytime they want it. Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone. Um, you know, the people in La La Land are very well known, and and at that time were much more well known than the cast of Moonlight. So. Uh, if it was uh, a setup or it was a fix, I don't know why those movies wouldn't be flopped with Moonlight being announced an error and then La La Land being the true winner. 